Good morning, everybody. We're together morning. with Jordi, and we are standing here in front of a mansion that we're gonna try to get into. So, uh, yeah, let's have a look if we can uh, find the entrance. It, it used to be the house of a bridesmaid, that's what we heard of it. Uh, so, let's go inside right now. What I see here, this looks like to be open or something. Oh, is the door just open, Jordi? Can go in. It's quite small. <laughs> He's very small, so he fits through everything. In Portugal, most. Thank you very much. Start. Go. I, I hear water. I hear water running. What's happening? Oh my gosh. Welcome back to another documentary by the Bros of TK. This time we will travel up north in the beautiful country of Portugal. Here we found a mesmerizing home with a very tragic story. This place was owned by a Portuguese couple who recently got married. All throughout the house, signs of their marriage are left behind. The bride's dress even hangs from the closet upstairs. But unfortunately, something very tragic happened to these people. Not so long after their wedding, they both got into an accident and unfortunately passed away. And with that, their house was left behind and nobody was there to care for it. Let's go on this adventure with the greatest respect and let's try to give these people a last ode to their life. Pretty moldy in here, Joy. Look at the wall, at the ceiling. Oh, I really need the mount mask for this one. Oh, I just went upstairs and we just got dizzy inside of this place from being here like half a minute. But I just told you the story. It's pretty sad. And as you can see, their whole house and everything that used to belong to them has been left here. All the tables around the chair, ready to make a big family plates and oh, I'm gonna show you one of these chairs because they are so amazing completely upholstered oh is this upholstered oh yes this is leather I thought at first that it was wood but you can see it's quite bouncy so this is leather completely carved out wow there's a neat thing about this stove if you turn off the light oh. you see oh yeah the stove the chimney beams of light directly into here and these are the last we put back the light the last blocks of fire that mr polo and his wife burned inside of the stove after all those years 2003 this place has been abandoned 17 years ago and look what it did to their building oh. let's put up a little vase oh wow Look at this, there's even a little child picture in here. So they might have had a child, but did, did, this go, this, did this child go to the grandparents or something like that then? That's strange, right? Mm. A marble top on here. Beautiful chairs here to the side. And, that, and then they got the display cabinet over here. Filled, 
fail to the brim with glasses. These don't look like very nice glasses. These are just a mixture of different glasses. You wouldn't give this to your guests. Maybe the parents came in here after they passed away and took out some stuff of the house, the most valuable things. But I, I, I'm wondering why would they leave the chairs and everything behind? Because in my knowledge, those are also worth lots of money. Like for example, these chairs. A cutting block to cut some meat on. And a little, yeah, little, it's not little, it's, it's a beautifully big cabinet with drawers and everything. What do we have over here? Mast and Anonymous. They like rock and roll, I think. In here, a big place to serve food for the guests. Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna show it in detail because there's a name on there. There's a Visa credit card left behind in this place. What? I'm gonna place this back over here. Place this on top of it so you don't see it. But you just saw that credit card and everything is left in here. So I believe that the story that people told me about this place is completely true. These people, Paula and uh, his wife, uh, Paolo and his wife, they, they passed away in some way or another and uh, left behind this complete house. Over here is also his last bill. It states on here, 2003, and that was uh, the date when this place got abandoned. You hear that water over there, Johnny? Yeah. <laughs> I have to check it out. Some parts of the house are, are a bit trashed, I would say. Like, for example, this hallway. But look at the door at the spider webs on that door. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> 17 years, it hasn't been cleaned in here. Oh, oh my gosh, this room is crazy. Have a look at this. Wow, this is a complete mess. Why is there so much water? It's not even raining outside. Oh, no. <laughs> the whole drawer is filled with water. What in the world? You have that toilet over here with lots and lots of wine jars. Oh my gosh, that's dirty. Look. What? There's still water coming out of the sink. Oh my gosh, yeah. Has it been open for all those? What? <laughs> The water still runs in this place? Yeah. Maybe there's a leak. Yeah, it looks like there's some sort of a water leak. Because it's not raining outside. I just oh. show you with the GoPro. Wow. Like... Damn. Let's go a little bit further. This looks like another dining area, right? Yeah. Okay, let me see. Let's go through here. Or it also maybe looks like, like, a, like a taberna or a place where people could come in and get a drink because it's quite big actually. You see what I see. What do you see? Oh, a singer sewing machine. <laughs> oh my gosh, completely covered in decay. Wow. <laughs> Look at the door over here. Isn't this just crazy? If it keeps leaking like that, the building is gonna collapse in, let's say, one to two years from now. A building can't handle this much water. No, never go through it. It looks like they sold something in this place, so they might have had some sort of a shop. This looks like a display area where they could start, uh, set out some, some stuff that they were selling, like these bottles of water or wine. And this looks like a counter where you would display some meat or some pastries or some cookies or something like that or bread. 
Well, yeah. That's, uh, I'm right, right? Yeah, but let's go behind. Yeah, Can let's let's behind? let's have a look here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think so, right? They had some sort of a shop. Taberna, you would call it here in, in Portugal. And, uh, don't, don't touch it, there's a lot of mold. Okay, I'm not gonna do that then. Yeah, this is the counter, this is behind the counter. So, it looks also maybe some sort of a cafe. Oh, there, yeah, there's a coffee machine. There's a big coffee machine over here. Oh. Yeah. I didn't expect this from this place. No, me neither. So Paulo and his wife rent this shop and uh, then something happened to them and they had to leave it behind. Yeah. It's crazy. My deepest respect to these people. Cody, come have a look. I really like this doorway and the design of it, you see? It's a building cabinet, worked into a doorway, worked into a wall. So you have these very small Portuguese doorways, but then they place the cabinet above it uh, to display some stuff. So that's a pretty cool design in my opinion. What's this we're walking into? Wow, this house is actually pretty big. Yeah, you have I didn't expect this. Lots of wine bottles down there. Portuguese people that drink wine like it's water, really. Every house we explore, there are at least 50 to 100 empty wine bottles. <laughs> I don't know why, but uh, like I said, they drink wine like it's water. It's like a calendar, calendar, but there's no date on it. Yeah, it's just a year calendar. Oh, this one is from 2007, so yeah, the building might be a little bit younger. Okay, it's 2007, another artifact we found. Sometimes you have to adjust your story going through the place. These people that make, yeah, that, that find out the history about these people mostly don't know the exact dates. Well, there's still food in there. And uh, inside of the place, you truly find the exact date and you can go deeper into the story of these people. A few ovens, a microwave. Yeah. There was also a kitchen over there. Yeah, there's a little kitchen. Well, oh. Oh, they made the cabinets. Oh, yeah. Corner cabinets, right? Yeah. These are handmade. We'll close it for you. Ah. See? It goes open again. <laughs> there. Oh. A very traditional Portuguese kitchen. <laughs> stove here. This is the new stove that they used. This is the old one. So after a while they decided mm, it's time to not use this stove anymore and just use that one. And look over here. There's still a frying pan in there. Wow. Old school frying pan. A wood stove, you would heat it up down here and then uh, put some dishes in here, maybe some meat and you could cook up here on the top. Beautiful exhauster, very Portuguese. You see this in every single Portuguese house. These long, wide, going narrow to the top exhausters. This TV is not gonna work anymore. <laughs> Lots of space to cook on and beautiful marble tops as well. Wow, these were the sinks where they wash the dishes and everything. Oh, watch your step. This is an incredibly beautiful plate. Probably hand painted. Let's see, it's the label on it. Made in Brazil. Wow. I'm gonna place it back. Like that, very nice. And now we got a few more things there. Where you want to go? 
upstairs. Yeah, I think there's downstairs. Maybe this room? Oh, the bathroom. Now we'll let you go first. Let's show the bathroom as well. Wow. Wow. Just coming down. We really have to look out when we go upstairs. It's really small. Yeah, very yeah, small. This was a shower. I was looking at it, but I'm not sure if this is the shower. <laughs> There's no shower head or anything, and it looks too small. And when somebody came inside, they would crush you in the shower. So that's not handy, in my opinion. Okay. Going upstairs right now. Pretty big hallway, as you can see. Over there is a skylight. Parents of these children must have been pretty rich to give them such a house. My parents would never do that. <laughs> I have to work for it myself. Whoa. Oh, yeah. That's her wedding dress. No way. <laughs> oh. oh. I actually find this pretty sad. She displayed it up here. This was a, probably her room. And her dress, her big day. And not so long after, she already passed away. This it's is a picture of them. Picture of them together. The people that lived here. This was probably their proudest room of the house. You can see they even placed such a beautiful Portuguese uh, individual share bench here. Completely upholstered. Red ladder. Oh, this is Mr. Paolo when he was younger, I believe. Normally they write a name on the back, but there's nothing there. But he looks like the painting we just saw. Oh my gosh. Jeeps and the Alps. Have you filmed this one already, Johnny? Yeah, I was looking at it. It's a beautiful display cabinet. You would place some sort of yeah, artifacts inside of here, a statue or something, and it would be with this mirror. It would pretty, look pretty nice. Let me try it out. Let's see if I place this little clock in here. It gives a surreal feeling to it. You can see it for each and every corner. This clock is just plastic, so, <laughs> and it's not from quartz, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's just a knockoff from AliExpress. What? You can hear it. You also hear it. Yeah, the, water. Yo, the water upstairs here, right? Oh, <laughs> but there's no leakage. There's no water seeping into this room. Watch out with water in there, Jody. Really, watch out. This looks like a children's bedroom. It smells really bad. Yeah, I don't think we should walk inside of this room. No. But I think this was a children's bedroom or something. We have this little drawing up here. Cat playing on a piano. Wow, insane. But I'm I'm just thinking there must be a, a hose down there that just broke. In uh, the floor. In the floor, right, yeah. Yeah, I also think that. Hmm. That's sad, right? The master bedroom. I think this was the master bedroom. Wow, oh, such a beautiful bedroom. There's a skull of some sort of an animal on the bed here. Damn. Bed is still made after all those years. In, P in Portugal you find houses, they are just open next to a busy street and uh, everything is left in there. Even in the side of this house. I think the antiques in here are still worth lots of money, but people just leave it behind and they just don't care about it. They're, they're very respectful over here. Another one of those incredible cabinets. I like the mirrors on here. Oh, they have been carved. All the clothes of the woman that lived here are still in here. Wow. Her dresses.
I like this chair. <laughs> Look at the green on it. Green upholstery. Lovely to see, right? It's I just opened this drawer and there are hundreds and hundreds of medicine in here. Might this have be something to do with why these people have passed away? I don't know exactly what these medicine all were used for, but it looks very surreal to me that such young people needed so many medicine in their lives. That might have been the contributor the sickness that is related to this, of they, them passing away. The vanity of the lady, to make herself beautiful in the morning. We have a little sink here to the side. Yeah, in the richer houses, people would have sinks inside of their bedroom. They could brush their teeth, they didn't have to go to the bathroom then. And even to be there in here for the woman. I also really like these marble tops. They are there. They're so beautiful. Okay. Oh, another bedroom. They were quite prepared for children, I believe. It's full of stuff. Yeah, it's completely filled. Damn. Some advertisements for cereal boxes, full liquor, all sorts of stuff. And yeah, we saw the picture of the child downstairs. He might have slept in this room. Wow. Maybe the memories were too strong for him and he could not stay in his house and he went to live with his grandparents or something like that. But then the question still is present of why the grandparents didn't come in here to retrieve the stuff of their former children. There's a lot of stuff here. Yeah. On the ground. It looks like somebody has gone through here and searched for something. Yeah, I, I believe that people come, do come in here to search for valuable, valuables. Wanna have a look? Yeah. There's even an attic, but don't know how safe that is. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I see behind there, look at that. Oh yeah. There's even a door there. But to come here into some sort of a bedroom and everything is left in here. Even more pictures of the people. Have a look at this. Here's another one of a child of a, a smaller person. Maybe that's where these were the pictures of them when they were younger. I, so, like I told you before, this was the house of their parents. So these might have been pictures from Paolo when he was younger or pictures from the parents. We will never know. Not a vanity. Beautifully designed. This cabinet is so. <laughs> it's almost falling over. See, it even rocks. And all the clothes are still in here. Yeah. I wanna have a look here. Oh, should we do this? Because, oh, the door is falling apart. Oh, let me look. Yeah, and the floor is, is completely broken. So, not safe for walking, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Oh. Okay, let's head back. Let's head back. Back in the hallway right here, and I think we saw everything inside of this place. Wait, let's now travel half a year into the future. <sighs> I'm back in this place, and Danny is disappointed at me. Very disappointed at me. When I told them that I went to this place, I said, like, it was really cool. We found all the things upstairs and downstairs here. 
And he's like to me, you've forgotten a whole part of this place. Yeah, one of the biggest. Yeah. One of the biggest parts we forgot, the outside. <sighs> okay, <laughs> but I'm back now and I'm gonna show you. But as well, look here. This is half a year later right now. And the water that I showed you is still flowing downstairs here on top of this cabinet. It's not gonna take long. It's not raining. Last time I was here, it was raining. But we went into this kitchen last time, or it's still in this video, but it's half a year later right now. And this doorway, I forgot to go, to go through. It was probably locked or something like that. This leads us to the barn of the place. And over here, the cars of the owner are left behind, as you can see. I say cars because, uh, because there are literally multiple cars. Yeah, there's three of the, this, exactly the same model. Mercedes 240D. Pretty expensive cars, actually. Yeah, back in the times, yes, very. Let's have a look at them. Wow, oh, it's crazy that the owner left these all behind. They're still pretty, oh no, they're not new. I wanted to say that they were new, I thought it was like... No, but it's, it's new. Do they have 50,000 or 500,000 kilometers on the odometer? That's 500,000 kilometers, right? Thousand, yeah. 500,000 kilometers on the odometer. Let me show you that closer. Can you see that properly? Yes, 500,000 kilometers. That's like about 300,000 miles. But they say cars like these, the Mercedeses, they never die. They're like dinosaurs. That's true. That's very true. Let's have a look around it. Completely with dust and everything. Cats from the neighborhood have been walking on it. Just wonderful to see. Not wonderful, it's very sad to see that beautiful car like this is left behind. But yeah, I also noticed <laughs> this little funny clown here in the barn, hanging on the wall. And then we have this little doorway over here that I suppose it leads to an outside kitchen or an outside inside kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> wow, it's like walking back in time. You have here to the side. Oh, this Danny, these. I'm always telling about these. I find these in France and Portugal. And these were to hold live animals, right? Probably to hold chickens and stuff like that. No, I think it's just a, cabinet, a normal cabinet. No, but why is the mesh on there then? I'm gonna leave this to the subscribers. What I do you know. think that this was used for? I saw I them a lot. Think, I don't think they have animals in this house, so I think it's just a cabinet. You think it's a cabinet? Yeah, I think it's just a cabinet. Okay, let's see what the people think know. it is. Just leave it down below. And then we come here into the outside, inside kitchen. <laughs> the plants are already growing inside. And I want to ask you about these beams as well. I think they are for drying meat or something like that. Yeah, they're used to use that as something. Maybe to dry meat or to dry onions or garlic or something like that, or peppers. Everything is burned. Yeah. And we have this enormous exhauster over here. Look at this, they, they cooked in here for many, many times and many, many years. It's completely black from the smoke. And here that would make the fires. And behind it, we also have like a bread oven, an old school Portuguese bread or pizza oven or whatever they would cook in here. Those lovely Portuguese desserts. <laughs> I get them all the time when I'm here. We also have a little cabinet in this outside, inside kitchen <laughs> as well. <laughs> Wine bottle, like always. What are you seeing? I don't know, I just saw this suitcase. This suitcase. Looks real. Yeah, and there are like tools in there. Bolts and nuts and stuff like that. Wonderful. Let's go a little bit further. Here we have like a little storage area with bottles. The light is flowing back inside of this room. Even the cork is still on the bottle. That's crazy, right? What are you seeing? Oh, 
This is like the place where they stored, stored all the empty bottles. Mm. Yeah, that one's still full. Yeah, it's, it's like, like a lemonade, that's not wine. <laughs> all the empty bottles that they once had inside of the house are in here. Oh, this is beer, still full. Oh, this like the old school Super logo. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Really cool. That's the favorite beer from Portugal. Oh no, that's no, no, the, no, 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 no. We're not gonna go that way, right? <laughs> that's the opposite brand. Exactly. Me and Danny love Sagresh. <laughs> oh, funny. Oh, funny. One last overview before we show you some more cars. Okay, there should be another car down here. Where is it? Oh yeah, I see it right now. Danny just pointed it out. It's behind the barn here, behind the inside outside kitchen. I'm gonna believe saying that, <laughs> probably gonna annoy you guys. Wow, lots of doors here that I have to go through. This is just completely crazy. Okay, I'm not gonna go too far. Ah, oh, that's always the case with exploring. If there are two things that I would ban out of this world, it are these doors <laughs> that Danny is fighting with right now and mosquitoes. Yeah, mosquitoes. Those are the two things I would ban out of this world. Yeah, yeah. No use for them, literally, no use at no all. Use at all. <laughs> okay, it's exactly the same car as we are seeing over here. This is the red one, the red variant as well. And you said that there was also a gray one? Yes. I, okay, I will yeah, follow you. you. Cannot see from here, but... Oh my god, it's completely overgrown. <laughs> Watch out. I'm like wearing short sleeves and you're like wearing a jacket. Whew, those are the two things I would ban out of this world. Yeah. Oh my god. The mosquitoes are not, uh, not that worse here in Portugal. No. They are the worst in Italy. But I don't think you can get to the car, but... I can, can view it from pick. here? Yes, you can pick. Oh my god, where is it? Oh, all the way back there. I hope you see it on camera. I'm not gonna go any closer. That's just impossible. Just okay, impossible. let me find the window so I can give you a last glance of that car. Okay, over here we can get a little better look at the car. But I can't get there anymore, unfortunately. Now it's time. Oh, Danny, you're gone. Leslie, earlier Leslie, you take over again. Bye bye. <laughs> Such a sad story of Mr. Paolo and his wife. What happened to them, I'm not 100% sure, but they passed away in 2007, or the house has been left behind since 2007, and such a tragic story. If you like the story, and uh, if you wanna see more of the channel, please subscribe down there, give it a like if you like the video, and if you wanna support us for going on these trips, and uh, because it's pretty expensive for us, we are just students, uh, go down there in the description, uh, there's Patreon and they can support, you know, support us on a monthly basis, get these beautiful mouth masks and other incredible benefits. Like always guys, I love you very, very much and I'll see you next week. Bye bye.